Are you ready to have some fun? Soccer boppers! Welcome to... Let's race! Yes! Two pets! Mr. Oaks's The Gym Boss. Blue 22! Blue 22, red 18! Hold on, hold on, hold on! Splatter, splatter, splatter! Ready, hut! Today's lesson, we're gonna play in this video game right here. May I have your attention, please? Welcome to Mr. Oaks's The Gym Boss. Keeping you active with workouts and games that you can do right at home. I'll also bring you some tips and tactics to help keep us healthy. And of course, you can count on that we're going to have lots of fun. So go ahead and like and subscribe. And I'll be bringing you many activities in the weeks to come. I'm excited. I hope you are too. So let's get started. And now it's time for Mr. Oaks's Accelerated Screen Printing Student Showcase, Prize Winners, and Recap of the Last Lesson. You know, the folks at Accelerated Screen Printing have been so gracious, offering up all these prizes to you guys for completing the lessons, and I just want to say thanks to them. Of course, you could also enter to win this week's prize. All you got to do is go ahead and like this video and submit your own video or picture via Google Drive, email, or Google Classroom of yourself doing today's activity. I'm going to go ahead and ship these bad boys out, and let's go ahead and take a look at last week's winners. Start with me, for our items. We have these that are going to be our blockers. They're the same as the final line. That's counter point. And we're throwing plates and whips. And the winner is all three. Congratulations. And now let's get back to today's lesson. So guys, as I mentioned before, we're gonna be using this video game right here for today's exercise. And uh, it's a really fun game. I picked this up several years ago. It's, uh, it'll help us you know, learn a lot of different moves. And we'll be going through that today and you'll be able to work out with me. As far as exercise is concerned, we're gonna be working on standard three. And then standard three has all of our different exercises incorporated into it. And there's also other things like standard five, it's, uh, just having some discipline and um, making sure that you're responsible enough to get up and do the exercise. I know you guys know by now that exercise is really important for us to get on a regular basis. Um, we're gonna be utilizing the, the FIT principle. Now the FIT principle stands for frequency, intensity, type, time, and it was a principle put together to help with our exercise goals. Today we're just gonna be focusing on frequency and really getting a good understanding of that. Now frequency is very similar um, to what the word sounds like. So for example, frequency means how often do you do something? And for this particular case, if you change any part of frequency, it will impact your overall fitness level. So if you exercise more often, so for example, if you're only exercising once per week right now and you increase that to three times per week, it's obviously then going to help your fitness goals and just help you overall with your overall fitness levels. Now the American Heart Association as well as the American College of Sports and Medicine recommends us getting at least five days a week when it comes to frequency for our benefits. So now that you know a little bit about our exercise goals, the FIT principle, um, let's go ahead and get started with today's game inspired exercise all right guys now we're ready for our exercise i want to show you first a couple optional uh, pieces of equipment so again we have the water bottles in case we need some resistance today uh, we've also got some milk jugs we had recycled when they were empty we cleaned them out put them full a little bit of water to add a little bit of weight of course if you have some resistance band at your house you could totally use the resistance bands as well and then Adults, parents, if you're exercising along with your kids and you have a set of weights and you're comfortable with them, uh, go ahead and bring a, a set of weights out. And also, obviously, we have the video game, but you don't actually need a physical copy of this video game to actually play along. You can just follow our moves and what you see on screen. So let's get started. All right. I think we're going to warm up first. Here's Joshua Gribbs to take you through your workout today. The first thing we're going to do is alternating shoulder circles. This is just really good to loosen up our shoulders. This warm up will loosen up your muscles and improve blood flow. Left arm, so that you right arm. Some big giant muscles. circles. Slowly rotate your arms forward, one at a time, drawing large circles. That's 
Jasper feels really good. Let's lubricate your shoulder joints and work out the kinks. Now go backwards in the reverse direction. Now we're just going to reverse directions. I'm going slow with these big giant circles. Incorporate your whole body into the movement. All right, good one. Let's see what we got next. I expect a lot today. You should be really loose and limber going in. Let's do another one. I love this game because of the coach they are trying to encourage us. The now we're these will run from sideways. Let's get a little get bit more forward out. We're gonna squat down, grab the inside of your ankles, and then we're gonna put our knees back and then go all the way up. Reach down and grab the insides of your feet and remember to keep that chest up. When we reach down, we're bending now our knees, your knees and then extend your knees. And now back up. Now reach above your head, keeping your hands together, right. and stretch your abs and shoulders by pushing your hips forward. If you're doing this, when you're working out by watching, look at your hands to get a full range of motion. I would suggest turning sideways so you can see the screen, so you can see what to do and the timing of when to go up. So just turn sideways. Remember to exhale as you move through the range of motion. First two, what we're doing here are just warm ups. This is a good warm up. I really like to bend my knees when I go down and then really extend them back. Of course, Allie, she's a little bit more limber than me, so she's able to extend back a little further than I can. I wish I could do that. You guys at home, I'm sure can. Again, this exercise is called good mornings. It's like you're waking up. Good morning. So bend the knees and then extend the knees back and then raise up to the sky or the ceiling. Good morning. We gotta say good morning when we get done with that one. Now that you're all warmed up, you can train that much more. If you're working out at night, say good evening. All right, hammer curl. So this is the time we're gonna pick up water bottles. Um, or parents, you can pick up your weights as well. When doing your hammer curl. So we're gonna pick these up, scoot back, and get ready. We're gonna do 15 reps. Curl it up. I want good form. And down. Curl up. Come on, lower down now. Slowly curl. And lower down. And curl, good one. Lower down. Curl it up. Lower down. Curl up. That's it. Lower. And curl. Lower down. Now curl. Control down. Curl up. And lower down. Curl up. Lower down. Slowly curl. Down. Only four curl more. Up. Lower down. And curl. Good one. That's it. Lower. Two more. Curl up. Lower down. That's it. Keep it going. Last one. And lower down. All right, good. Ah, that's, that's what I'm talking down. about. Now guys, one of the things about those curls, if you are working out at home, um, just keep, try to keep your back Let's straight when you're doing them. Right on right, we're going to do push-ups now. Breathe in when you lower down. Alright. We got 12 of them. If you get too tired, you can totally go into a plank during this time. Down and up. Down and up. And this game makes you to go slower. Control Which down. does make them harder when you do the push up slower. Down, then up. But again, if you get too tired, you can go into that down plank. And up. Of course, you get real tired, down, get you some water. Up. We got water bottles that we brought out. Down and up. 
We're at seven. Down and up. Eight. Control down. Whoo! Getting down. tired. Nine. And down. And up. Ten. Control down. Power up. Eleven. Down. One more. And up. Whoo! We're done. Nice job. Give me some. Way to go. You at home, high five to you too, or just, just bump. Whew. Receiver challenge. All right. And this, this one's a fun one. You're gonna run up the field. All right, scoot over just a little bit, Allie. You're right here. Ready to run. Go, run, run fast. Remember, catch it. We're gonna catch it. Right hey, catch! Woo! Got it. Come on. Boom! Okay, jog back and set yourself up. Jog back now. All right, receiver stance. You gotta think first and then move to make those catches. Go. Run. I'm always open. Every good receiver is always open. So we're open. Give me that ball. Great, catch it. Jump, right catch. Side. Boom. Come on. I have it home. Now jog Boom. back to the start. Even the camera, camera lady is having fun with that one. She's gonna give us a fist bump next time. Oh, we gotta jog back to the start. I forgot, I got two Time those catches properly. Don't be late or too early. Okay. We gotta do five total reps. Alright, here we go. Go. Start running. This is the 95 yard one. You ready? Catch, 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 catch. Nice catch. Teammate. Teammate, camera lady. Okay, Boom, got gotcha. you to the start line. Got the camera lady in. Get this camera lady. Camera lady. Boom. This ball. Oh, I gotta keep forgetting the job. I'm too busy doing my touchdown celebrations. Come on. We're gonna get a big catch coming. Big catch. Good catch. Yes, got it. Okay, jog back and set yourself up again. Woo, woo, woo. All right, we gotta jog back. Too much celebrating. Celebrate when you make a good play. Nothing wrong with that. We're working hard. Make a good play. Celebrate. Last one, I think. Here we go. Run. On your right. That's it. Nice catch. Last one. I don't think we have to jog back on that one. Yeah, we do. Did we? Nice work. Okay, you stepped it up. All right. Nice shot. Let's get the next one. I might need a drink. Bag hop. These are fun. In this drill, you're gonna work your leg muscles so that you can go on to train for speed and agility. We're gonna jump this way first, then that way. So I would say scoot over just a smidge to your right. That way when you jump this way, we don't jump into each other. Jump that, we'll jump left first. Let's have it up. Good. Jump right. Left. And just pretend there's a bag there. Obviously, we're not really jumping over a bag. We have a pretend bag. Jump. Just like they do if they were training for football. Jump now. Jump again. Jump! All right, keep jumping. Two more. Hopefully. We're Legs are getting tired. One more. One more. Nice Ooh, start to sweat. 
But sweating's a good thing. It means we're working. Time to do some foot fires. When the drill starts, remember. Anytime you need a break, go ahead and take a break at home and then jump back in. Drive. Keep it up. Good. Finish strong now. 20 seconds or they're saying reps. Don't let those heels touch the ground. Use the balls of your feet. Eight, seven, six, four, three, two, one. Way to go. Higher. Prone knee drives. We only have four exercises moving with prone knee drives. Now let's see you drive your knees up to your chest on each and every right. row. Some people call these mountain climbers. Good hustle. Keep pushing. I like it. 20 more. Try to keep your back straight here. It is hard. I'm having a hard time myself. Hips on each rep. 10. Now you're digging deep today. Take it home now. Six. Five. Slow down a bit. Three. Tap the brakes. One. Now that's Woo! Done. Three more exercises to go, guys. We're almost there. Alternating leg raises are a great abdominal drill. Keep a fluid motion with your legs for the best results. All right. Legs up. Dig, dig, Just gonna go slowly up and down. You don't want to go through these too fast. At this point in the workout, you might be getting a little uncomfortable. Remember to move with control to maximize the benefit of your alternating leg raises. That's okay. Because part of the discomfort is part of the cure when it comes to exercise. Work on those kicks. This drill can be tough at times. So it's okay to get tired. That means your muscles are working and your body's working and it's getting stronger. Boy, these are tired. If you get tired, take a break and jump back into it when you recover. Get your drink if needed. Woo! Break it up a bit. Oh, I got a bit more apparently. That's it. Good intensity. All right. We're almost done. Allie? Nice job. Two last ones and both stretches. So we're good. We made it home. Sitting down on the ground with their legs up and We've done this one in class. So you guys are real used together, to this. And tuck them in towards your groin area. I like to Place lean forward on mine. On knees, as you guys know. Down. You should feel this stretch in your groin area. And this is great because I needed this one after that last one and pushing so hard. My legs are definitely feeling it in my stomach. This is good. Remember, push your knees down to maximize this stretch. We're done with that one. Last one coming up. You're really proud of today. Let's cool down some more. This last one's gonna be a chest opener. This is gonna stretch out your chest and your biceps. So we're gonna get kind of knees uh, okay. bent, kind of like in a crunch line. position. Hands behind. Hands behind. Down, fingers out. Fingers out. And then we're gonna lift our chest. Keeping your arms straight, raise your chest up. Keep your back straight and hold this stretch for 20 seconds. Last one. Guys, don't forget we've been we talked a little bit about frequency today. Frequency, how often you exercise. Five more seconds. The more you do, obviously, the more it'll impact Good. your fitness level. So today, don't be afraid, or this this week here, 
Don't be afraid to do this multiple times if you like it. You can always put this video back on. Feel the stretch across That's it today, Allie. You did an amazing job. Hope you at home got a chance to do this and did an amazing job too. Remember to go ahead and like this video, subscribe, see us on all social media at the Gym Boss One, and we'll catch you next week. You've just watched Mr. Oaks's The Gym Boss, keeping you active with games and activities that you can do right at home. We hope you enjoyed today's show and got some healthy tips, advice, or exercise to help with your healthy living goals. We'll see you next time.